Hello wine people, welcome to Thirsty and Wise where we simplify wine. My name is Peter and I'm a wine educator. This is our first video in series for WST level 3 in wines. There was a lot of requests for these videos. Thank you so much for the requests, for your patience and for all your support. In this video I will answer and explain 50 multiple choice questions that you can expect on the WST level 3 in wines multiple choice part of the exam and I'll give you a brief explanation of what WST level 3 in wine is. If you did not do so already, please consider subscribing to Thirsty and Wise YouTube channel because this is the channel, this is your wine community where you're gonna get so much valuable wine knowledge and information where we simplify wine and making it approachable for everybody. And let's start the video. Okay, wine people, so before we go into the questions, let me just explain, answer a few questions. I'm gonna make videos um, more in detail about explaining uh, WST level 3 and strategies and everything that we're gonna do on this channel to, to help you um, pass uh, pass this exam but also in general um, uh, to, to learn uh, learn about wine so what is WST level 3 in wines WST level 3 in wines is a step up obviously from WST level 2 in wines and in order to do level 3 it's not mandatory for you to do WST level 2 but it's highly recommended uh, but WST level 3 is a prerequisite for diploma level so the level 4 in wines which is the highest level of uh, highest wine course with WST so in order to sign up for the diploma you must pass WST level 3 there's no there's no exceptions uh, WST level 3 is really um, a course that separates people that are just a little bit interesting in wine um, uh, from people that are really uh, serious uh, serious in, in wine um, the course is much more harder it takes a lot more time um, to, to, to just to pass the course um, there's a lot of there's um, the level of knowledge that is required uh, to pass uh, level 3 you know your English uh, if you're not a native English speaker should be um, quite good um, because it requires not it doesn't require uh, speaking but it requires uh, writing I'll explain that uh, just to give you an example of the difference between level 1 uh, level 2 and level 3 uh, level 2 total uh, total uh, hours that is recommended by WCT to spend in order to be successful is 28 28 hours of cell preparation together with um, with uh, with guided uh, guided um, teaching so that's 28 hours where for level 3 is 84 so three times as much also just to give you a little bit um, comparison we made a WST level 2 videos and we made around 36 videos for the whole WST level 2. I'm estimating that for level 3 is going to be four times as much. So my point is it's a quite serious course. All right, but you shouldn't be uh, scared of that. You should be focusing on uh, we'll give you all the, the, the knowledge, the structure, the strategy to, to be successful so that's what you should be focusing on who is it for like I mentioned it's it's for people that are uh, really serious about wine it doesn't it doesn't mean that you should be a wine professional to do this course WST in general is for professionals but also for for enthusiasts but you you should uh, for a level if you're doing level 3 you're you're really serious about wine uh, who is it for I mean you know why, why to study WST level 3? For me it was a very easy why to study uh, even though it's a quite an expensive uh, program uh, for me it was always you know I wanted to progress in my career I wanted to learn more and understand more wine 
so it was very easy for me or any wine professional for wine enthusiasts why should you learn about more about wine well honestly I mean it's a great experience it's a challenge um, and the reward is you know you're gonna learn more about wine you're gonna have more understanding you're you're definitely gonna enjoy enjoy more wine and you're gonna understand and also explore the wide range of wines uh, around the world you're gonna have the confidence to do it so exam how does the exam look like look like so with the level two you have just 50 multiple choice uh, questions exam 50 uh, 50 questions you need 55 percent minimum to pass for level three you, it's a three-part exam so you have again a 50 multiple choice questions everything is a minimum 55 percent in order to pass so you need to pass three parts uh, at least 55 uh, percent in order to pass so the first part is a multiple choice question the second theory part is short written answer questions so basically you're gonna get um, many questions they say that it's four big questions but it's actually four questions divided in few questions so it's maybe around 10 questions um, and the total mark is uh, you get totally uh, 100 points so in order to pass the theory part so basically in order to pass the theory part you need to pass the multiple choice part and you need to pass the short written answer question you cannot just pass one or the other you need to pass both in order to pass the theory part of, of the question and the minimum is 55 55 percent the second part of the exam is the is the tasting part so the, the practical part you're gonna get uh, two wines usually a white and a red wine uh, they have uh, 50 50 points total and you need to have minimum of 55% uh, of the points to pass. I'll talk about tastings and all of this in more detail. I'll, I'll make special videos for this. Uh, for now, that much is, is okay for you to know. What will you learn? So this is very important. So just to give you an, an idea, I'm not going to go too, uh, too deep in this, um, but I just want to give you an idea the level of knowledge um, that is expected for you to to have uh, when you when you go through the course um, in order to pass so basically the the unit one which is the theory wines uh, of the world so that's unit one the unit two is the analytical tasting of, of wine so basically theory and practical tasting part so in order uh, so theory has basically five learning outcomes five uh, five things that uh, their WCT is foc foc focusing on to, to learn so you'll see here that on this um, on this is basically a, a page from a specification I'll talk about that uh, in, in a different um, in a different video but for now on this document on this page you're gonna see words that are gonna be repeating itself and that is identify describe and explain these three words is they call it command words in WCT and this is the level of knowledge of the understanding that you will be tested on on the short written exam part which is by the way the most challenging part uh, so you will be tested on not just uh, remembering information and writing it down fact information let's say you know what's the grave variety in burgundy you're gonna need to identify for example grave variety in burgundy describe it and explain how it contributes to the style quality and price of the wine so if you understand this sentence if you understand the level of knowledge that that you need in order to pass then you're going to focus then you're going to focus on this while you're learning you're going to be very uh, aware 
of information that is in the book. So you're going to say, aha, okay, this is information that uh, I'll be tested on to identify. This is the information that I can use to describe, let's say, describe the characteristics of, of PNNR. And then this is the information that connects description and explaining how characteristics of PNNR contribute to the final style, quality, and price of, of the wine. Okay, this is, if you understand this, you'll, you're golden, you're gonna, you're gonna do well, okay? So let's go uh, through this uh, quickly. Uh, so learning outcome number one, identify the principal natural and human factors in the, uh, in the, in the vineyard and winery that are involved in the production of stale wines of the world and explain how they can influence style, quality and price of the wine. So basically, learning outcome number one is the first 76, I think, pages of the book. You need to know this part of the book by heart. You need to identify natural and human factors, basically what can a human uh, uh, do or influence while producing grapes. And how these natural factors, so climate, how activities of, of people can affect style, quality and price of, of the wine. If you don't learn this 76, the first 76 pages of the book, uh, I assure you, you're not going to be successful. The first part of the book, 76 pages, crucial important, the most important part, because you're going to use this knowledge and understanding in the rest of the book. And if you don't have it, the rest of the book is going to be very, it's, it's not going to have a lot of sense. Very important. Learning outcome number two, identify and describe the characteristics of still wines produced in the principal wine regions uh, of the world and explain how key natural and human factors in vineyard, winery, law and commerce can influence the style, quality and price of these wines. So basically this part is explaining still wines of the world, identifying and describing and explaining key uh, human factors in the vineyard winery law and commerce so when you read the the book the book will be focusing on uh, natural factors in the vineyards human factors in the vineyards human factors in, in the winery laws every region will have its own specific laws that you need to identify and understand and explain and some of them will be also uh, focusing on commerce of basically how the production of, of uh, grapes and wines is affecting the price of, of the wine. So this is the major part of, uh, of, the, of the book. Learning outcome number three. So uh, one and two. One was natural and human factors in the vineyard and in the winery, general knowledge. Second part will be the specific knowledge of uh, each uh, region and country. Learning outcome number three, then, and, and first two are focusing on still wines. Learning outcome number three, identify and describe characteristics of principal sparkling wines of the world and explain how key natural and human factors in the vineyard, winery, law and commerce can influence the style and quality of price of this wine. So basically this focuses on sparkling wines. Uh, learning, num uh, learning outcome number four is identify and describe the characteristics of principal fortified wines of the world and explain how they, uh, the key natural and human factors in the vineyard, winery uh, and law can influence style, quality and price of the wine. So learning outcome number four is focusing on fortified wines. Learning outcome number five is demonstrate the ability to provide information and advice um, to customers and staff about wines. So this is um, knowledge about, you know, should this wine be decanted, at what temperature should I serve it, food and wine pairing, this kind of um, knowledge. And then the unit two is for tasting, which we'll be focusing on, on a different video. Okay, so now when we know that we have our five learning outcomes, so 
uh, learning outcome number one is natural and human factors in the vineyard and in the winery. 76 pages of the book, first 76 pages. Learning outcome number two is individual countries and regions where you're going to apply knowledge from the first 76 pages. Learning out the, uh, number three, sparkling wines. Number four, fortified wines. And number five is um, customer service advice on, on wine. So this is how the multiple choice questions are divided. Uh, so you can see that the major part, 28 uh, points, are actually coming from individual regions. But again, you need to know the first 76 pages uh, of the book. And then in total, this is 50 multiple choice questions. So let's start with the questions. So question number one, and also these questions, um, I think they're, they're challenging, but the whole point is, you know, just to tip your toes into the water. Don't get scared of these questions. I'm sure you're, many are going to be like, wow, this is challenging. It is challenging, but it's just the first step. You're going to need to make, you know, 150, 150 steps, you know, you need to start. So don't get scared. Let, you just need to do the, the, the steps, the reps. Okay, so let's start. Question number one, which is considered high risk food component? Sugar, acid, fat, salt. So what's in the food that is making the wine more challenging to pair? The correct answer is sugar makes the wine more acidic, more drying, more bitter, less fruity. What is recommended service temperature for light, low tannin red wines? 7, 18, 10, 13 degrees. The correct answer is uh, D, 13 degrees. Light, uh, light, low tannin red wines can be chilled a little bit. So this is the, the recommended temperature for these wines. What is the name of wine preservation method where oxygen is removed from the bottle? Blanket, vacuum, coravin, pumping. The correct answer is B, vacuum. You're vacuuming, you're taking out the air from the, from the bottle. Wine is considered a new grape when it's grown from seed, cutting, layering, clone. The correct answer is A. Basically, any grape variety that is uh, that is grown from a seed is considered a new grape variety. The, the differences between the, the characteristics of grapes uh, grown from a seed instead of um, a cutting of wine are so, so, uh, so different that the grape variety has totally different char characteristics from the original, uh, original grape. Which is uh, not needed for photosynthesis? Water, heat, sunlight, latitude. The correct answer is D, latitude. What is diurnal range? Difference of day and night temperatures, similarity of day and night temperatures, difference between summer and winter temperatures, similarity of summer and winter temperatures. The correct answer is A, uh, diurnal range is difference of day and night temperature, which is actually very important. Average temperature of a warm climate is uh, below 16 degrees, 16 and a half to 18 and a half, 18 and a half to 21, above 21. The correct answer is C. 18 and a half to 21 is considered warm climate. Which climate has the biggest difference between summer and winter temperature, temperatures? Continental, maritime, Mediterranean, tropical. The correct answer is A. Continental. It's called continentality, the difference between the warmest and the coldest month in, in a year. Also, take these questions as not just remembering the, the answers uh, of, of these questions. The key is to develop understanding. So any of these questions is not just, you know, guessing the question right. It's about having the understanding and then when you have the understanding, the answering part of the questions will come easy. So my point is when you're reading these questions, when you're looking through these questions, also think about why is this important? And I'll talk about this 
later on when we go into in, into specific uh, regions and appellations. Which wine training system is best suited for warm and dry regions? Big wines with low density, big, uh, bush wines with high density, bush wines with low density, uh, VSP or vertical shoot positioning wines with high density. So the question is warm and dry. So warm and dry, you need bush wines with low density, C, which you're going to find in very arid, warm, dry climates like Spain. Which training system is best suited for moderate climate with high rainfall? So opposite. Big wines with low density, bush wines with high density, bush wines with low density, vertical shoot, posi vertical shoot positioning wines with high density. The correct answer is D. And this is something that you're going to see, for example, in Bordeaux. And I'll, I'll explain all this will have more sense when I explain it in, in specific regions just to give you give you an idea why you need big wines or bigger wines in a more moderate climate where you have more rainfall is because you have uh, more inputs you have more water you have more sunshine you have more um, you have a climate that retains that uh, that humidity in the vineyard so you need you need uh, more competition in the vineyard so more competition in the vineyard because you have more inputs is done usually with big wines that have a lot of uh, permanent wood or with uh, wines that have less permanent wood by, but high density planting. On the, in, a, in, the Spanish, um, in the Spanish example, you have high inputs in sun and heat, but you don't have enough water. And if the wines don't have enough water, they're going to struggle to, to survive. So in order for them to have the minimum amount of water that they could have is you need to have less wines in the vineyard. So there's no competition. So this is the, the logic. Which Viticultural practice was developed um, by Rudolf Steiner and Maria Thun. Traditional, organic, sustainable, biodynamic. The correct answer is D, biodynamic. Which is not an uh, inert vessel? Stainless steel tank, oak barrels, concrete vessels, glass bottles. The correct answer is B, oak barrel. Inert vessel is a vessel that doesn't impart flavor to the wine. Which clarification method is based on gravity? Filtration, fining, uh, depth filtration, sedimentation. The correct answer is D, sedimentation. Sedimentation is a slow process that uh, relies on gravity of all the particles in the wine to settle, uh, settle down just by using gravity and time. Which technique is not used in premium white, white winemaking? Blending, oak chips, sedimentation, cool fermentation. The correct answer is B, oak chips. Oak chips is a, is a faster, cheaper way to give flavor to white wines, white and red wines. Which winemaking technique is used for low tannin, fruity red wines? Maceration, carbonic maceration, blending, post-fermentation, extraction. The correct answer is B, carbonic maceration. The process encourages, it gives color to the wine, but doesn't extract flavor. Sorry, it doesn't extract tannin from the wines. So you get light fruity red wines. Which, which one is correct for GI, geographical indication for EU, European Union? Indicates geographical origin of a wine, can be small and big, have rules and regulations for vit culture and winemaking, all the above. The correct answer is all the above. GI, geographical indications, are what makes a huge difference between European wines and the rest of the world, at least to the point what is uh, on, the, on the label. Which one is correct for Bordeaux climate? Has high rainfall, vintage variations are common, Gulf Stream is a major factor, all the above. The correct answer is D, all the above. Which, and also you're going to hear this, um, uh, 
this word a lot factors so factors in the vineyards factors in the in the winery factors are basically things that are influencing the wines style quality and price so in this case rainfall is a climate factor vintage variation is a result of of, of the of the climate Gulf Stream is a major factor that influences the, the climate and then we need to understand how they affect the, the style and quality of wines in Bordeaux and also price. Which appellation is not part of Côte de Bordeaux? Premier Côte de Bordeaux, Blaye, Cadillac, Castellon. The correct answer is A. Premier Côte de Bordeaux is not part of the Côte de Bordeaux classification. Not classification but appellation system. Which is the main grey variety in Cahor? Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Malbec, Syrah. The correct answer is C, Malbec. Which one is not a characteristic of Burgundy Premier Cru site? Mid-slope location, south exposure, deep and fertile soils, wind protection. The correct answer is C, deep and fertile soils. Premier Cru sites, Grand Cru sites in Burgundy are the best sites and have the best um, uh, best characteristics uh, of the of the of the terroir so basically meaning you know it has wind protection it has south exposure that is helping uh, the ripening it has the mid slope location which is very important for the sun intensity for the um, uh, uh, for the temperature rotating um, in, in the vineyard um, and it doesn't have deep and fertile soils, which is a characteristic of, of uh, low quality vineyards, lower quality vineyards, uh, which produce, which are more meant for um, high level uh, grape production that where quantity is more important than, than quality. Which appellation is not from Côte Chalonnaise? Rouli, Givry, saint veran and Montagny. The correct answer is C. Saint Veron. This is actually one of the appellations in Burgundy um, that is that was not mentioned and on level two. It's mentioned on level three. Which appellation is not a Beaujolais Cru? So on level two you had one Beaujolais um, that you need to remember. On level three I think you need to remember three or four of them. So which one is not a Beaujolais Cru? Uh, Cru? Brulé, Morgon, Fleury, Mercury. The correct answer is D. Mercury. Which appellation is not a labeling term in Alsace? Grand Cru, Grand Cru Classé, Vendage Tardive, Selection de Grand Nobles. The correct answer is B. Grand Cru Classé is not a labeling term in Alsace. Which is not encouraged in winemaking in Alsace? Large oak barrels, MLC or malactic conversion, residual sugar, varietal wines. The correct answer is B. MLC. It's not encouraged because in, in Alsace, the focus is on, on purity, on elegance, on varietal wines, on the expression of, of the grapes. And malactic conversion is a, a giving an additional layer of, of complexity that is really not, um, not encouraged in, in Alsatian uh, wines. Which appellation is not producing Sauvignon Blanc? Sancerre, Sauvignier, Monetou Salon, Paul Fumé. The correct answer is B. Sauvignier is not producing Sauvignon Blanc. Which is the most important grape in Rosé d'Anjou? Gamay, Cabernet Sauvignon, Grolau, Cabernet Franc. The correct answer is C. Grolau. Another grape that we didn't mention on level 2. Which appellation produces white wines from Viognier? Uh, Saint Joseph, Hermitage, Condru, Cornas. The correct answer is C, Condru. Which appellation produces uh, wines from Mourvedre grape? Picpoul, Bandol, Corbieres, Côte de Provence. The correct answer is B, Bandol. Which is the synonym for Pinot Noir in Germany? Weissburgunder, Spatburgunder, Dornfelder, Graumburgunder. It's one of the Burgunders. The correct answer is B, Spatburgunder. Which region is known for Silvaner grape wines? Baden, Franken, Nache, Mosel. The correct answer is B, Franken. Which grape in Austria is compared to Pinot Noir? Zweigel, Blau, Frankish, Saint Laurent, Welsh Riesling. The correct answer is C, Saint Laurent.
Which region in Austria is famous for its red wines? Burgenland, Niederösterreich, Steymark, Vienna. The correct answer is A. Burgenland. What means Samarodny? Sweet, dry, as it comes, noble rot. Correct answer is C. As it comes. Nosa wines are based on which grape? Agiorgetico, Xinomavro, Assyrtico, Malagusia. Correct answer is B. Xinomavro. What is the name uh, of method where addition of grape skins are used? Recioto, Ripasso, Passito, Classico. Correct answer is B. Ripasso. What is Canubi in Piemonte? Village, region, single vineyard, producer. Correct answer is C. Single vineyard. Rosso di Montecino is produced with poor vintage, pure, pure, pure vintages, young wines, short aging, all the above. The correct answer is D, all the above. It doesn't mean that the wines are not good. It is just these wines are more used for the second label, where the best grapes are used for the Brunello di Montecino. What is the main grape variety grape in Abruzzo, Sangiovese, Montepulciano, Trebbiano, Brunello? Correct answer is B, Montepulciano. Most planted grape in Spain is Tempranillo, Iron, Albarino, Garnacha. Correct answer is B, Iron. Which region is Spain? Altitude is major climate moderating factor. Galicia, Ribera del Duero, Rioja, Navarra. The correct answer is B, Ribera del Duero. Baga is the most important grape in Dao, Bairada, Doro, Alentejo. Correct answer is B, Bairada. Yakima Valley, AVA, is located in California, New York, Washington, Oregon. Correct answer is C, Washington. Maipo Valley is located in which region? Central, Southern, Aconcagua, Coquimbo. The correct answer is A, Central. Which region in Argentina altitude is not important factor in the vineyard? Mendoza, Salta, San Juan, Patagonia. The correct answer is D, Patagonia. Basically, whole, uh, whole Argentina, except Patagonia, altitude, all the vineyards are on high altitude. Patagonia is the most southern part of, uh, of Argentina, which is quite cool. And the vineyards are not the altitude is not as important as the northern regions where the altitude is very important because in general the climate in the north is very hot. Which climate moderation factor in South Africa? Which is the climate moderation factor in South Africa? Southern Ocean, Cape Doctor, Bengula Current, um, all the above. The correct answer is all the above. Which region in Australia is famous for red Bordeaux blends? Yarra Valley, Hunter Valley, Margaret River, Tasmania. Correct answer is C, Margaret River. Which region in New Zealand has continental climate? Marlborough, Central Otago, Hawke's Bay, Auckland. The correct answer is B, Central Otago. Uh, New Zealand is an island surrounded by, uh, by ocean. It's very uncommon to have continental climate but Central Otago is very specific for that because it's surrounded by mountains that protect from the moderating effect of the ocean. Champagne method uh, of production is base wine, blending, yeast, autolysis, second fermentation, base wine, blending, second fermentation, yeast, autolysis, base wine, second fermentation, blending, yeast, autolysis, Yeast, uh, autolysis, blending, second fermentation, base wine. The correct answer is B. You have your base wine, you blend it, you have the second fermentation in the bottle, and you have the breakdown of yeast, which is the yeast autolysis. That creates specific uh, champagne style aromas. What is the name of barrels from which sherry is used for bottling? Solera, Criadera 1, Sobre Tabla, Criadera 2. The correct answer is Solera. So, solera are the barrels. So in the, in the fractional sherry blending, we have different barrels that we blend and there's a sequence to it. And then the barrels that, are, uh, that have the wine from where the wines are taken 
for bottling is called Solera. Which port, uh, port wines need to be decanted? Ruby, Towny, LBV or Late Bottle Vintage? Uh, reserve, uh, reserve Ruby. The correct answer is C, LBV, a specific LBV that has natural cork. Thank you for watching. Let me know how well you did and the questions that you have. Wine people, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please uh, consider subscribing, sharing with your friends, people that you know that are uh, maybe interested in wine. Please comment on these videos. Comment on your questions, feedback, um, any concerns that you have. This will help us to create better videos for you so you can be um, better prepared for your WST level, uh, level 3 in wines or just learn more uh, about wine. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay thirsty and wise.